Today I am back with my 2018 Model 3. I will be unboxing and installing an all-weather cover for my car. Hi and welcome. I have received an item from EV Base today. Comes in this bubble wrapped bag. Let's open it up and see what we have inside. It says EV Base, Tesla EV accessories. Has a coupon code here, 10% uh, off. However, if you use my code Ranger, uh, you get a 15 to 20% off any purchase at the EV Base store. So keep that in mind. Well, inside this bag is, let's see what we got. So we got a letter from EV Base thanking us for our support. If we have any questions, please contact them. And we also have a warranty and support card with a QR code to the website. Since many of you know, I have a new car in my garage. My Tesla Model 3 is gonna be stored outside now on my driveway. So I need some protection for it from the elements. Currently it's autumn and leaves are falling. Stuff is falling off the trees. So what I got here is protection for it. This is a car cover that's specially designed for the Tesla Model 3. And this is available in silver and black. I chose silver because of the reflectivity of the sun. Um, most likely going to keep it cooler than a black cover. And I'm not going to undo this whole thing right here, but you get the idea. This has a number of features such as pockets for the mirrors and zippers for access for the doors and other areas. So what I'm gonna do is, and what you should do is when you install a cover like this, the car needs to be clean. It's not a good idea to put car covers on dirty cars because you can scratch the paint. So first thing I'm gonna do is wash my Tesla and then I'm gonna install this cover. I'll show you what that is in just a minute. Now for washing my Model 3. In fact, in the last five and a half years, I've never showed myself washing my car. Trust me, I actually clean it every once in a while, even with the paint protection film and the ceramic coating. That keeps it looking good for quite a long time in between washes. I use the standard two bucket wash system, one bucket with soap and the other for rinsing with the sponge or wash mitt. I use CarPro products which are specially formulated for ceramic coatings. I do a preliminary spray of each area I'm going to clean. I'm washing with Reset, an intensive car shampoo, one cap for the wheels, and lower area. Then I rinse off with water. After that, I empty the buckets, rinse, and refill with another cap of Reset shampoo. I wash each section at a time, Usually, I start at the top, get the roof and windows. After that, I will do the trunk area, then each side, and finally the hood and front bumper. I frequently fold the wash mitt in use and rinse in the second water bucket. Then get more soap in the first clean bucket. Then I do a close-up check to see if any particular area needs attention, for example, if there's any road tar or tree sap. Then I get my cordless leaf blower and remove as much of the surface water as possible. I start at the top and move all around the car until done. Also, it's good to get the wheels as dry as possible. Then I use several microfiber cloths to fully dry the roof, windows, and painted body panels. I usually apply CarPro Pearl Tire Shine, but I'm skipping that today. And in between washes, I use the CarPro Elixir quick detailer. And that's it for the wash. It's important to have a clean car before putting the car cover on to reduce the possibility of scratching. Now for the installation. Place the car cover on the top of the car. 
Orient the cover so that the mirror pockets are facing the front of the car. I find this is the best and fastest way to put it on. Then start stretching the material to cover the corners of the car. I focus on attaching the pockets over the mirrors first and then everything else should fall into place. You may need to adjust the positioning so that the front and rear of the cover is even. Also note the cover has an elastic bottom edge that keeps it attached to the car. This is a view of the fully installed outdoor cover. It's designed to allow proper air circulation while keeping water out. This prevents moisture buildup and condensation, which can lead to mold, rust, and corrosion. Your Tesla will stay dry, clean, and well ventilated even during extended periods of storage. Here's a close-up of the outer cover. It uses double-stitched seams everywhere, and the proportions of the Model 3 are matched by the shape of the cover. The different sections are stitched together well. With multiple layers of advanced fabric, the car cover offers unparalleled protection against scratches, dings, and UV rays. It acts as a barrier, shielding your Tesla's paintwork from potential damage caused by bird droppings, tree sap, and other environmental hazards. On the inside, the fabric is soft to the touch and will not mar the surface of the paint. Note that there are reflective markers on each of the corners of the cover as well as on the mirrors. This is so that the car is visible in darkness when parked on a street with other vehicles around. This is a good safety feature. The next item is unusual, but a good idea. I want to show you this feature, the opening in the front of the cover. This mesh allows air to flow directly into the vent openings for cooling the radiator. Since the car is constantly working its battery management system for the best conditions to keep the high voltage battery pack happy. The first section that you can open up is for the driver door area. If you ever need to get anything out of the car, you don't need to remove the cover to access it. Simply pull the zipper from the bottom of the cover near the ground, up all the way until it stops at the end. Now move the cover away from the door so that you can open it. Here's an example. I want to get the storage bag out for later in the video. Now that I'm done with the inside, I can move the material away from the door opening and then close the door. Then, pull the zipper from the top all the way down to the bottom. Pretty easy. One of the handiest features of this cover is the ability to keep the cover on while you charge the car. There's a zipper with two poles in this area. Unzip one of the poles towards the right. Now it's open and you can reach in and tap the charge door cover and it will open. Insert the charged cord plug and let it do its thing. While it is charging, you can cinch the opening as close as possible to the handle. That's why there's two zipper poles, so you can adjust the size of the opening while in use. When you're done charging, move the zipper poles as far to the right and left as possible. Make sure the cover material is not caught in the door area, then close the charge port door. Now you can pull the zipper closed all the way to the left or the right side. Very convenient. The rear of the cover also has a zipper with two pulls on it. These are for allowing you to access the trunk while the cover is still installed. Here I will demonstrate. Unzip one, in this case the right side to the top, and then unzip the other, the left side to the top. Fold the cover back up and out of the way. Touch the trunk button and open the lid. Once you're done with using the trunk, carefully keep the edges of the cover away from the lid and then close it. Fold the top of the cover back down and then start zipping it down the center of the trunk by the license plate. Then do the same with the other side. You don't have to keep the zippers in the center. If you wish, you can 
meet them anywhere along the entire length, say on the upper left side or even on the upper right side. Either will work fine. There are four tie downs that are located by each of the wheel areas. Just take the two straps and wrap one of them under a wheel spoke and back out again. Then tie them together. It will now keep this section secure. Do this for the other three tie down areas. This will keep the cover from being pulled off due to high winds and adds some peace of mind. Before I forget, the mirror pockets are large enough to account for auto folding mirrors. Here you can see that the driver's side mirror open up and then it can close. It's not a problem for the cover. And then on the other side of the car, this is the passenger side view. Don't forget to keep the storage bag in your trunk for when you need to fold up the cover and place it inside to keep it organized. It has a cinch rope pull at the top to keep the contents within it and not falling out. This brand new item has a one year warranty. If you have any quality problems, please contact the company at service at ebase.com. They will reply to you within 24 hours. It's refundable within 30 days to a local warehouse address. All right, now for the conclusion. Today was good timing for this waterproof all weather outdoor car cover to arrive. I washed my car and installed the car cover on it. Hopefully this will keep the car well protected during the fall and winter. If you're interested in this item, please link the link in the video description. There are versions for the Model 3, Y, S, and X, and available in black or silver color. Remember to use code RANGER for 15-20% to off your purchase of this or any other EV base product in their store. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you can get updates from my new videos covering both of my EVs.